Small and very localised populations of the chequered blue butterfly are found in Provence and are generally close to a watercourse. In the VAR we can see this beautiful butterfly fly between April and mid-June. In this open and stony forest trail, a male flies over his territory and settles on a twig. And for some reason still yet unknown, this species frequently rubs its wings together. In another more open habitat, a male is drinking. The underside of the wings is decorated with large black dots on a white background. An orange band colours the underside of the posterior wings. The edges of its wings have white fringes, well broken up with black. The upper side of its wings are very dark and decorated with two elliptical marks. From time to time the butterfly rests and opens its wings and warms up in the morning sunshine. The males differ from the females by their blue markings, which are more or less intense on the underside of the wings, generally missing in the females, although here in the VAR some females have more or less the same blue coloration. It is therefore more accurate to differentiate the sexes by their behaviour. A handsome, very young male rests for a short moment. Not far off, a female relaxes, her wings open, her beautiful blue sheen on show. She flies off and comes to rest a little further away, her wings closed once more. A male notices her and immediately comes to meet her. Then these two butterflies fly away and land in a little bush where they mate. Another male approaches and he too tries his luck, but in vain. Here, a female palpates a stone crop stem, sedum telephium, with her abdomen. In Provence, the stone crop is the main host plant for the chequered blue. It's a pioneer plant which colonises cliff foots, rock falls, and rocky undergrowth. She makes her way meticulously over the leaves using her abdomen to test for the ideal place to lay a single egg. The eggs are laid mostly on and under the leaves but also on the stems. Egg incubation lasts for about 15 days. An egg hatches. The chequered blue caterpillars are mere mechophilic. A large number of different ant species are attracted by the caterpillars from their L2 stage, depending on the habitat or the place where the host plants grow. In a light oak wood, on a great stone crop, some Lassius imaginatus ants are guiding, towards a crack in the ground, a mature caterpillar that's ready for metamorphosis.
By mid-June, the mature caterpillar prepares to descend to the leaf litter to metamorphosize, guided here by Lassius fuliginosus ants. Several Lassius fuliginosus ants are present at the nymph stage and during the transformation to a chrysalis. A butterfly emerges from between the stones of a wall. It's a female and she climbs up higher into the vegetation in order to stretch her wings but it takes more than an hour for her to achieve it. The life cycle of this beautiful butterfly begins again.